Hey, y'all. So I used to work at a, um, an art museum as a guard uh, where I got to stand, at, uh, st stand and stare at paintings for eight hours a day, which I loved, which, which may tell you everything you need to know about me. <laughs> anyway, this is about one of the other guards. And it's called Ponte, named after the, the building. Somewhere in the pre-Columbian art, Nick took out his earpiece, which meant he was ready to talk. With this stuff, he rested the pads of his fingers on the display case and glanced at the cameras. With this stuff, no one knows when to stop dusting it off. From the adjoining room, the Spanish filigree and the silver and Jesus were peering in. Nick's hands had skulls and crossbones with the skulls bigger in proportion than they normally are. You get used to it, he said, even though I'm sure I didn't ask. Segways are the hardest to remember. A high up German curator came around wanting to see the latest pictures of his dog, Angel, ninth in a long line of beloved chihuahuas. Then a glint from the silver hit Nick and he jerked back pretending he'd been shot and patted his eyes as if to keep the joke going and said, if even one tile were to be lost from the building, the whole thing would be structurally compromised, which explained the skulls. <laughs>